I suppose historically we've always been eager to keep up with the times and uh, keep up with new technology. We feel electric vehicles is coming. We have to start making the change from fossil fuels. We already transitioned a few years ago with some CNG trucks into our fleet and electric is the new latest and greatest so that's why we're getting on the journey and starting the process. There's no real limit to what we can do with the trucks. We've looked at it so first of all we have trucks doing domestic Irish work doing up to 300 kilometres a day. They work perfectly for that without having to charge. We also then have them doing trunking at night going up to Belfast and back down. Our experience is very good. We can fit them in perfectly into our model at the moment even though we've no charging network available in Ireland at the moment. We went to Europe last week with a truck. I actually went myself. It was very, very comfortable and went to prove that it is possible. There's no challenge that can't be sorted out. I've done over 1,700 kilometres in four days in the truck. Yeah, the, the experience was fantastic. So I believe it is the way forward. I believe that more companies can get on board. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to offer the solutions to our customers. We're trying to offer them help in, in reducing their carbon footprint, trying to get onto a more sustainable way. At the moment, you know, probably 50 or 60 percent of what we can do or what we do, we could do with electric trucks if we if we had enough electric trucks. So we knew exactly um, what Volvo had dictated to us at the beginning of what the truck was going to be capable of doing. It exceeds it in lighter work. So they are being conservative on their range and, and they're giving us a, a fully lading range and it's spot on, it's, it's exactly where they said it was going to be. If we run it on lighter work, we can increase that range, which is better for everybody. So we have four electric trucks. So we have four 43 kilowatt AC chargers in place. They charge the trucks in about eight hours. So they're an overnight charge. If the driver finishes day, truck comes in, parks up and goes on charge. We also then have a 180 kilowatt DC charger, so supercharger. Trucks will use that during the day, so when the trucks are being double shifted, so truck will work from morning till afternoon in Dublin and come back, go onto the supercharger, supercharge in an hour and 40 minutes and be ready to go then for an evening shift and go and do the same again. So I suppose the eye opener to say that everything can be done, but nothing is actually not possible. I'm confident we could go anywhere in Europe with the network that's available at the moment. I think coming into it, we were probably, we weren't skeptical because, you know, we were confident it was going to work and there was a place, and there is a place for 300 kilometers of range, you know, every business has a place for that. The surprise was probably how easy it is to apply the application to European transport or to apply it to UK transport. Um, I think that was the eye opener. That it's all about the planning and having the resources available for charging along the route. We have to start this transition somehow, somewhere. This is the starting point for us. Um, this is how we start the process of trying to get to a greener, carbon neutral distribution service.